Hey guys, what's up? Amir Ryder here. Uh, big thanks to uh, Tenbound Dave Delaney for inviting CloudTask to the Sales Technology Conference. And I uh, hope everybody uh, learns from all the amazing presenters today. I'm going to quickly share my screen and uh, jump into the presentation that we got for you guys. So give me one, uh, give me one second. And I will get that going for you guys. Awesome. So guys, I want to talk about today, CloudTask, and how we are working on revolutionizing B2B sales solutions from a buying and selling experience uh, with our ultimate goal of bringing the B2C uh, business to consumer, e-commerce, and convenience to the business to business world of sales outsourcing and sales service procurement. Quickly, uh, we'll go over the uh, introduction to CloudTask, the big idea. Everyone's got to have a big idea and uh, talk about the market needs, give you a quick uh, recorded demo of the cloud task marketplace, go over the value prop, and then talk about the future of sales tech uh, with cloud task and beyond. So quick introduction, guys. Um, what we're looking to do here is it's, it's real simple, but yet real complicated at the same time, as they always say, we are looking to bring the convenience of B2B, B2C e-commerce experience of B2B sales, outsourcing and buying, right? Uh, we have a key focus on out sales, sales providers, uh, but also include remote sales candidates and sales technology providers. So uh, we like to call it RevOps. So think of us as the uh, Airbnb or Upwork of RevOps or Amazon, which are all marketplaces, but some people don't uh, know that yet. But now you do, which is awesome. So really uh, B2C uh, has been thriving in the world of um, e-commerce, think of Zillow when it comes to uh, when it comes to real estate, Uber when it comes to driving, Amazon when it comes to almost everything, eBay, these are all marketplaces, guys. And we are looking to bring that same uh, experience and transparency into the B2B world, right? Um, really, the focus, the big idea is just transforming the way people buy, right? Um, hiring managers will use CloudTask Marketplace to quickly assess comprehensive information about remote RevOps talent. Uh, including sales outsourcing, sales B2B consultants, trainers, right? Uh, all in one place so they can make informed hiring decisions that are based off of uh, the right match and not emotions or feelings, which usually turn out to be churn and bad buyers, right? Um, this is a unique way to, uh, that B2B buyers buy, right? Traditionally, buyers are researching sellers on a one-to-one -one basis, right? They're, they're using social media, um, they're Googling, they're, they're reading Reddit, right? They're looking at G2 Crowd, Crunchbase, directories, you name it, right? Um, and then they're reaching out to making meetings on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Oftentimes, they're met with highly trained and highly sophisticated account executives that have serious quotas that they need to meet, right? Um, and oftentimes, they have to buy, you know, based on sometimes who they like, right? And, and who gives them what they want to hear, uh, very few buyers bring uh, an RFP, which is a request for proposal, which would document the buying needs. So, um, you know, when you look at big government or huge enterprises, they oftentimes have RFPs, uh, but most B two B buyers are not buying that way, right? They're buying um, they're, they're buying off um, emotion, off reviews that can be faked. They're sometimes buying based on how a company looks, if their website's pretty. Um, their marketing material is great. Their salesperson is awesome. They can typically sometimes choose those solutions based off a product that would really, really help them the most, right? So it kind of leads to emotional buying, we believe, and oftentimes the wrong product can be bought, um, which then leads to, um, it, it really leads to a, a, a bad buying experience and churn. So that's kind of the big idea that our marketplace will create transparency. Uh, and improve the interface between buyers and sellers and sales and rev op solutions can interface, right? Now, from a market need perspective, right, more business buyers now see digital e-commerce as more efficient and effective way to purchase business goods and services. And uh, reporting a preference of self-guided digital experience because they can explore research and buy on their own terms, right? So uh, in the U.S., B2B e-commerce sales reached actually $1.7 trillion in 2021. That number has not been updated uh, since uh, we don't have the most current, but it has grown substantially even since then, right? Um, Trust Radius reports that 87% of buyers want the ability to self-serve part of their buyer's journey. And McKinsey research shows that only 20% of B2B buyers 
say they hope to return to in-person sales, right? Uh, Forrester data shows that nearly 75% of B2B buyers prefer to buy online when purchasing products for work, yet just 25% of B2B buyers, companies actively sell online, right? So there's a gap between what the market wants and how B2B sellers operate, right? B2B buyers are increasingly choosing to buy online rather than through phone or other online channels, driving expectations that the share of offline B2B sales will decline from 63% in 2022 to 55% in 2027, right? Um, and this is a quick graph, guys, where you guys can, can analyze this. Uh, I don't want to go too deep, but uh, as you can see that most people are preferring self-serve, right? Um, in the US, B2B e-commerce sales reached 1.7 trillion, as I mentioned, and buyers preferring self-serve. And um, the, the, the trend is in, right? And the big thing is that if you really look at how buyers buy in B2C, they're already there. Right. They're already making uh, purchases without having to talk to sales reps. You got people that are renting homes on Airbnb that might cost thousands of dollars without ever talking to anybody. Right. And it's all because clear listings, clear information and with clear data and clear information, you can make better buying decisions without having to meet with the sales rep and, uh, you know, be won over or wooed. Right. Um, from a cloud test market perspective, how the buyer workflow comes in, the buyer company will you know, well, with gaps in their sales operations, it's impeding their effort to accelerate revenue growth, right? It's the only reason why you're going to come to a RevOps marketplace. Sellers, uh, one and multi-person uh, multi shops that provide services to enable sales tasks, like engaging, qualifying, and closing prospects into customers. Those are some examples, right? And then the cloud test, the online marketplace, brings together buyers and sellers of sales services and enables them to carry out purchase transactions while establishing a climate of transparency, clarity, and trust, right? You can fake reviews, guys. You cannot fake transactions. And the more purchases we have in the marketplace, we will know um, who is the right match for white product based on what that buyer looks like and what the seller looks like. Give you guys a quick, just a quick view of the actual marketplace. What you're going to notice is the, and by the way, I talk faster than the scrolls. So just to, you know, if, uh, if it's too much, let me know, but I'll, I'll fast forward right away to the to the back, guys. So so essentially, right off the bat, you can you can read right the most important thing, right? We're going to be here to fill um, revenue operation gaps, right? And it's going to feel and look like a mark most marketplaces you've interacted with, right? Um, consider this: a lot of oftentimes, people don't even know what they're buying, right? Some people can call B two B lead gen traffic websites, visits, revenues. So we're allowing people to use even these search filters where they can come in and say, I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking for SQLs. I'm looking for discovery meetings. I'm looking for revenue, right? It, it, almost searching about the end result they want without the fluff, right? So making it really clear for buyers to know what they're looking for so that when they're presented with sellers, it will actually present what they need. Uh, obviously features listings and then it quickly, quickly from this, we'll, we'll go into the next page guys, where you can see how the marketplace operates from the uh, back end. You quickly will have to be able to select between agencies, out, outsource sales agencies, remote talent, sales software, consultants, trainers, and then use filters that are going to be what your actual needs are, right? Like what are you actually looking for? Uh, I'm looking for someone who does B2B, my targets HR, right? And then, Quickly, you'll be able to find your listings, and we're going to really clearly spell out in simple language what that service, technology, or rep can do, and putting it all into a, a clear listing where people can just speak to, I'm looking for this, and I found this, and then people can analyze what's the best choice for their actual need without having to uh, read reviews uh, and, and go with their gut and their emotion, right? And then... Uh, as you can see, all of the cards will be matching the seller, right? So if it's outsourced sales, the questions will be list building, segmentation, data providing. If it's a remote candidate, it might be hours, but all the work, previous work experience. If it's a sales software, the categories will be very much unique to what we are selling. And then we are going to be always recommending solutions based on who you are as a buyer and who you are as a seller, really based on mapping. Right. This is what I'm looking for. This is what we do and, and, and getting good matches. Right. So I'll keep the demo going, guys. It's not, it's not going to be tremendous much, but picture this being functionality functioning like a lot of marketplaces you work with where you can manage 
Uh, if you're a buyer, you can manage multiple sellers. And if you're a seller, you can work with multiple buyers from one interface. And all the payments go through the marketplace, right? So all the transactions live in here. And uh, that is a quick video, guys, of the uh, marketplace functionality. Let me get to the next slide and keep this keep this train going. Let me stop this, guys, for a second. Uh, 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 I'm going to stop sharing, all right? And then I'm going to go to the next slide. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, simply getting off that video. I'm going to go back on to share my screen. And jumping right in now to the value prop, right, guys? So I mentioned this before. Comprehensive information to make informed decisions, not emotional decisions, right? Buyers, hiring managers can access extensive information about RevOp talent, leading to better hiring decisions. And then sellers, um, one and multi-person shops can provide services, enable sales tasks, like engaging, qualifying, closing. So sellers can really be uh, specific to what they're doing. Oftentimes, a lot of sales agencies have multiple listings and one offering, right? So separating a go-to-market offering, a list building offering, MQL, SQL, so that buyers know exactly what they're buying, right? That's kind of the overall trend, right? Uh, and then just guys jumping right in, right? The, the future of sales tech cloud task, right? We, we, you know, we, we believe it will play a critical role in reducing buyer's churn for purchasing and selling experiences. That are a result of lack of transparency that exists in the B2B world, right? I give you guys an example. Um, Love G2, awesome website. However, if uh, you are a customer of G2 and you pay for intent data, guess what? The company with the biggest dollar budget now knows that you're shopping and they can advertise to you, right? Does that mean that that product is the right product for you? No, it means that they're a customer of G2 Crowd and that they're paying for your information. So you can literally get in front of a better solution simply based on your marketing budget, right? So it's not the best way to buy. We believe that intent data leads to bad buying experience. We believe that reviews can be faked and they they can be uh, lead to bad buying experience. But we also believe that you can't fake transactions, right? So if we know that a company that is 5 million ARR that is looking to generate opportunities buys X solution service and lasts with them for 36 months, we can start collecting the right match based on how long they were a customer, because that's the ultimate thing that they, somebody can't fake, right? So uh, as mentioned, you know, we believe that intent data review websites, they're great, but they're lacking the transactional data. They're lacking the information to know who somebody could work with a company for one month and leave a positive review. Well, who's a better match? One month leaves a positive review or somebody who leaves no reviews, but buys for six years because they're getting a good result. I would say the later that the purchasing matters, right? So by transacting purchase over cloud platform, buyers and sellers will be matched with the right service candidate or product based on LTV, right? And then we are building an AI matching and recommendation engine that drives actual buyers and seller outcomes versus advertising spending. If we know that we collect 20 case studies for a seller in the fact that they've serviced, let's say an HR tech, keep saying that, then that's gonna get a higher matching score. Right, so we're compounding LTV and matching engine, uh, and then on our roadmap, I just to give you a quick view, we definitely predict uh, a dashboard where where buyers can integrate their Google Search Console, their Salesforce or HubSpot sales data, and by analyzing the actual stats, call it the blood work. Right, you never go to a doctor's office and get medicine based on, well, sometimes you do, based on the uh, company that spends the most marketing money, right? You get it based on your blood work, right? So we're almost bringing that in here where based on the what we see within someone's actual thing, we will start recommending products, services, and remote candidates that match someone's actual needs. And that's exactly where we're headed, guys. Um, let me get to the next slide and we'll keep this guy going, right? So um, that is it for our presentation and uh, yeah, we're excited for a, a B2B e-commerce future. We're, we're fortunate enough to be pioneering a space that uh, has a lot of room to grow. And uh, of course, we encourage any buyer and seller of RevOps, sales solutions, remote candidates, softwares to visit our marketplace for more information. And you can find me, Amir Ryder, uh, on LinkedIn with my name, Amir Ryder, or on any social media, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter with my name, Amir Ryder, pretty transparent. 
building communities and always part of communities and always happy to help. I hope that everybody, um, everybody who actually took the time to read this found it actually useful and helpful. And I will, uh, if I can, sign off because I think I need to stop sharing my screen. Yes, everybody, thank you so much. Take off and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.